You know, yesterday, uh, my wife and I were sitting in a tent at the MTV Music Awards, and we were having, we were having lunch, and Axl Rose walked by us, and, and we yelled at Axl, we said, Axl, will you be the godfather of our child? And he said, he stopped, he turned around, he pointed his finger at my with wife. With his bodyguard. Said, yeah, well, he had like 20 bodyguards with him, and, and he's doing the... Um, the Madonna documentary, he's got his little film camera with him. And, and you had a three-week-old baby in your arms. <laughs> and I had a little helpless child in my arms. And so he said to my wife, You better shut up, bitch. Don't pitch me any shit tonight. Because tonight was obviously the highlight of his career. Look at the well, last night. Was. He said so. And then I said, and then he said, and then he looked at me and he said, "You better keep your wife shut, or I'm gonna take you to the pavement." And I, I was shaking and I, was, I went, "What? What? You're gonna? What are you gonna do? You're gonna beat me up?" And he said, "You better keep your wife's mouth shut. You embarrass everybody. You embarrass your wife. You embarrass your old man. You embarrass me." And 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 then I I was shaking and I said. I told my wife to shut up, bitch. She <laughs> story, you heard it here first. And, so. and then I ran into Duff McKagan. And that guy wanted to fight me. And he had three bodyguards who were like pushing me around. But it's about, but see, that's the establishment rock and roll, see. What? They want you to by their package rebellion of sitting on a Harley Davidson while you play uh, uh, piano with a 41-piece orchestra just like Emerson, Lake, and Palmer did in 1978. Say it, brother. Hey, man. I'm not sticking up for Axel or anything. But? I'm not going to stick up for Kurt, man. Well, you gotta take sides. Either you're yes on nine or you're no on nine, man. You gotta take yeah. sides. No on nine. But I'm talking about Axel here. Just hang on a second. You're talking about an asshole? Man, I just guys, I think you guys should let music be music, man. Let everybody express what they want, man. Yeah. Be it hard rock, be it Nirvana. Right on, man. Anyone, man. Just let them rock the way they want to rock. Yeah, okay? right, right on, man. But all right. That's a corporate establishment. Which but you can't really let a rock star who obviously likes to beat women and likes to control women and who likes to tell women to shut up. And who hates niggers and people who shut up. He is a racist and a homophobe. He doesn't have the right to speak his mind. Well, he does have the right to speak his mind, no. but so do we, and he should I'm be shut up. I'm not sticking up for him, man. <laughs> That's my girlfriend, Jennifer, okay? She just got a little excited. Shut up. We're having a discussion here. This is for him. If you're Americana bitch, here, man. Off or something. It's cool. So we're having a forum. It's true, we should all just love one another. We've only got like five seconds of RLA. You're about to cut off, huh? Chris? Yeah. Fucking report over Clammy Jam. Chris. I love you. John, report over Clammy Jam.